In the last lecture, we installed a Windows Server with a desktop. What I want to kind of talk about is Windows 2019, no GUI, right? So this is actually really a neat thing that Windows has done, and I'm actually really, really pleased to see this because it means that you've got some really interesting things that you can do and not have to support the Windows um, GUI. When you don't have all that extra stuff, um, your Windows process becomes a lot more interesting. And again, so again, for for uh, gigs, create your virtual disk. Your virtual disk image is fine, dynamically allocated, 50 gigs. You know, all this stuff is good. Remember that when you get in here, go into your settings, because this is the big one. Make sure that your storage, make sure that you have this pointed to your disk image, right? And then make sure that you have your display set to 300% so you can see all the things, right? And save it off and then go ahead and just start that. So the neat thing about the no GUI part of all this is that you really do end up having an opportunity to um, do some neat things with Windows that probably people that grew up in the old school Windows um, don't quite ever have that opportunity to do. Right, so we'll just go ahead and click next. We'll go install now. And rather than doing the, the desktop experience here, we're gonna do some other stuff along the way. Um, so let me get going. We just want the standard edition. We do not want the desktop experience. We want just this top one, right? And that's where this gets to be really kind of cool. So we accept all the license terms. Uh, we do all those other things. We're just gonna install Windows only. And again, no GUI. So if you think about it, right, we're gonna have a lot less stuff that we need to install. So your install is gonna go a little bit quicker, but think about this from a security or from a user viewpoint or from an operational viewpoint. Right, all of a sudden you open up windows to programmatic access that we really haven't seen before in a lot of ways. You can use this in a container, a serverless environment, a headless environment, or all the rest of it, without having all that overhead that you would otherwise have with your windows box. And you're gonna get dropped into a really, just the command shell, that's it. You're gonna go through all this install and you're gonna do all those things. And you're just gonna end up in a command shell. And then from there, it's all programmatic access, right? So you need to understand how to script and you're gonna want to learn how to script in PowerShell, right? And we'll show you how to bring up PowerShell as soon as we get that done um, from here. And again, this install just goes crazy fast because we're just not installing all of Windows. We're not installing a lot of Windows. Um, we're not doing a whole bunch of stuff here with it. Um, it will restart, it goes through again, usual normal things for Windows. Not a big deal, but you can tell if you watch that Windows Server with GUI and Windows Server without GUI, you can see where this um, install is a whole lot quicker than, than anything else that was done um, before in the past. So this is a really just neat way of doing it. And what's going to end up happening here in a minute is going to ask you for your password. And um, once we get that going, we should be uh, watching bits and pieces of this happening. So again, it does its, its starting services, configuration, everything else, getting ready. Again, super quick, right? Which is awesome. I like super quick. I like super quick windows. All right, so we should get our services set now, and then it's gonna go ahead and launch off. Um, get ready to go. Any minute now. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the for the for the prompt. There we go. All right. So user password must be changed. All right. So good. This is the administrator password. All right. So if you have an administrator policy um, process, you need to follow that policy here. This is the only time you're going to get that ability to do your password for administrator. Right. So here you go. You are now in your Windows install. This is it. This is all you get, and that's the cool part. So you can actually go ahead and open up PowerShell um, just by typing PowerShell and then go, you know, bring up whatever you want. I don't know if you have um, any of the other things. Oh, man, boo, dude, I blew that one. Okay, but otherwise you can just go ahead and bring up all the command shell, PowerShell um, kinds of things. Um, but the cool part is, is that you can actually then use this for um, the cool part about this is that this you now have an image that you can haul over for something nice and serverless, right? So that's the neat part. 
and you can kind of see where this can go here. If you're programmatic access and you're working in PowerShell, um, you can download all your scripts, you can do all the other things along with it, but now you have a nice serverless environment that you can bring over. This would be great for containerization, right? You wanna bring this into Kubernetes, you wanna bring this into Docker. Man, you've got a nice touch on this one because you didn't even need that 50 gig um, hard drive, right? You're not using as much space as you would. So you can easily bring this in to a serverless environment, a microservices environment, a microservice framework, and you have less overhead in terms of supporting Windows, in terms of supporting how Windows GUI works. You have a lot less of an attack surface using this. You don't have to worry about any of the GUI stuff. Um, you can just go ahead and, and do your programmatic code and then patch management becomes a lot easier. You're not having to download as many patches. Um, it's gonna make a nice clean image um, and we'll show you how to move your image over as either uh, an Alibaba image or as some other kind of or image that you can just go ahead and then use a standard template. So there's a lot of neat things that you can do here as you kind of go through the process. And again, I need to go brush up on my PowerShell so I can show you what it is. But with PowerShell, you can literally manage this whole thing and be ready to go. And that's it. So remember, the big thing to remember here though, again, you still have that opportunity to do control alt delete, um, control breaks, so all the rest of it. And that's it, that's the whole install. It's a nice, clean, super fast install, but the beautiful part about this is that you now have something that you can actually break off, programmatically manage, programmatically take care of. It's gonna be great for batch processing. It's gonna be great for a serverless environment. It's gonna be great for um, high performance computing because you simply do not have the GUI overhead that you would otherwise have. This is like the best thing that Microsoft has done in a long time is doing this and keeping up on it and making it really an easy option as you kind of go through the process. So that's it for this lecture. Um, we'll be kind of covering about how to do images and all the other things later on as we kind of go through the process. But I really wanted you to see what you get here um, is the important part. That's it. All you get is the terminal window. You need to kick it over to PowerShell and then start programmatically accessing and programmatically taking care of your Windows Server. Thank you much. Thanks you for watching my lectures. I really appreciate the time and, and energy people are putting into this. Um, your comments have been great. Um, I really appreciate that a lot. So definitely do reach out to me. Let me know if you've got any questions. More than happy to help out. And I'll see you in the next lecture.